Where can you find a small town charm, unique architecture, and some of the most sought after homes in the Bay Area? A prime location in the foothills of the Santa Cruz Mountains, access to amazing outdoor amenities, top jobs in schools, and short trips to all the shopping you can ever need are part of the reason why people love Los Gatos. Right now we're in downtown Los Gatos, and you can see what I'm talking about just by looking around me. Spencer Sue here with the Spencer Sue team, your tech world through the Bay Area. So many of you are watching aren't subscribed, so what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Los Gatos is situated at the southern end of the Bay Area, surrounded by Montecerino, Saratoga, Campbell, and San Jose. Walking down North Santa Cruz Avenue, you get the sense of small town vibes meet big city accessibility. This is part of the reason why Los Gatos is one of the most prestigious cities in the entire Bay Area. I mean, look at us right now. North Santa Cruz Avenue stretches for almost a mile and is just packed with amenities and stores. I'm gonna be walking past Great Bear Coffee, an Apple store, and on the other side, you've got Manresa Bread, an offshoot coffee and bakery of the three Michelin star Manresa restaurant up the street. Clothing, food, not to mention the fantastic Forbes Hill Steakhouse serving up Kobe beef in a beautiful setting. This is one of the finest meals you'll ever have. If you're looking for something a little bit more laid back and budget friendly, head down to 17 to the Cats, one of my favorite barbecue joints in the Bay. It is a great venue for live music. Check out Leo and Leona, the two giant sculpted cats that have been guarding the gates since 1922. If you like wine, visit Testarossa Winery. With five award-winning single vineyard wines of its own, Testarossa is your destination to South Bay for a beautiful night of wine tasting and friends. Of course, the city wasn't always like this. Los Gatos was founded in the mid 1850s after the building of a flour mill called Forbes Mill. And that was the original name of the town until the 1860s. The town was then incorporated in 1887 and grew with the logging industry and railroad here in the late 19th century before turning to the cash cow of the early 20th century Bay Area. Outside of the history of the city, why else would people choose the area today? Los Gatos has some of the best schools in the Bay Area. Los Gatos High School in the Saratoga Los Gatos Joint Union High School District, which in 2021 was named the top high school district in California. Look at the beautiful neoclassical main building. Most importantly, 96% of graduates attended a four-year college. This school is a 10 out of 10 on grade schools and an A plus on niche. So you're probably wondering where you'll live in Los Gatos. So let's move to the neighborhoods. The first neighborhood we'll visit is Almond Grove. It's a small neighborhood by comparison to many, and you won't find a more quaint location in Los Gatos. Where we were just filming previously in the downtown area, this area is literally walking distance. It's so close and so convenient, and that's why people love this area. While the architecture is diverse, it ranges in style from Victorian to Craftsman to Tudor to Ranch. One walk down these tree-lined streets and you'll be sure to start checking which houses here are on the market as they don't come up very often. Another neighborhood is Alta Vista. Alta Vista is in high demand with buyers due to its convenient location close to schools, stores, and the highway of 85. This tree-lined neighborhood has views of the beautiful Blossom Hill. Your kids will probably be able to bike to school without crossing any major roads if you live here. Houses here are single family, mostly ranch style and under 2,000 square feet. Though, there are a few new constructions that are over 3,000 square feet. A third neighborhood to check out is Rinconada Hills. This is one of the few gated communities in Los Gatos and the surrounding cities. By living here, you have access to a clubhouse with a library, 10 pools, a spa, a pond, and many tennis courts. Most in Rinconada Hills are townhomes, about 400 townhomes to 40 single family homes. And home sizes range from two bedroom townhomes to larger single family residences on large lots with nice views. If you want privacy and amenities, you can't pick a better spot. What are some big employers nearby? Netflix, the revolutionary streaming and production company employs over 2,000 people in this city, enough to be the largest employer in the city by a huge margin. Let's look more at what Los Gatos residents do in their downtime. The cool thing about Los Gatos is that about one third of its land is green. So even if you live in a gated neighborhood with a pond, you have plenty of access to open spaces and nature. Here we are in Vasona Lake County Park, my favorite place to stop by when I'm in Los Gatos. With 45 acres of green space and the wide Vasona Reservoir where you can boat and fish, it's no wonder why people in Los Gatos flock here. Of course, Los Gatos residents also count the city's location in the foothills of the Santa Cruz Mountains as one of its perks. Last but not least, come play at the Los Gatos Swim and Racquet Club. 
This is a membership only venue and with 13 lighted courts is one of the biggest in the Bay Area. Did you think a Bay Area city could have all of this? If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in Los Gatos or anywhere in the Bay Area, my team would love to be your trusted real estate resource. Call or text me at 408-547-4590 to set up a consultation. I release new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe, like this video, and let's connect.